Hey guys, Matt here, checking in from southeastern Minnesota, western Wisconsin, what we call God's country. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Let's get her. Good morning, everybody. Just waking up here in Edmonton. Uh, couldn't make it very far yesterday because we're running out of our 70 hours and I'm running on American hours of service right now because that's where I'm headed. I'm taking this lumber here down to Wisconsin. I've got to be there for Friday. It is Wednesday today. It's a long way to go. Uh, I'm gonna barely make it there on my hours, but as long as we don't have any big problems, you know, knock on wood, we'll make it there no problem. Taking a weasel out for his morning stroll. He is a very nice weed. Very nice, very nice. Not worthy of me though. I'm gonna go on. You didn't want to mark him, Diesel? Doesn't want to mark the weeds, okay. What you smell, bud? Somebody was here, man. Something happened here. There was a poodle and a shit shoe involved. Tastes kind of funny. Maybe, maybe there was a terrier here too. Something happened. Can we move on? We gotta get going, bud. We don't got much time. I haven't done my pre-trip yet, so he can take his time if he wants to. I gotta do that and grab a coffee, and then we'll be on the way. We sort of gotta book it. I have nine hours and 44 minutes of on-duty time available to me today. 15 minutes of that will be the pre-trip, so I've about nine, nine and a half hours to drive. I'm hoping that'll get me down to Estevan, Saskatchewan, where I'm going to stop for just the minimum 10 hours or ma minimum maximum, the minimum 10 consecutive hours that I can drive legally into the States. And then tomorrow I'll have another eight and a half hours available to me, which I'm hoping will get me down to around Alexandria or Clearwater, Minnesota. And we'll be there pretty early, like around three in the afternoon or so on Thursday. So Friday, we're going to get up super, super early and we'll have about another six hours to go down to Madison but hopefully we can get there around like 10 or 11 in the morning it's gonna be a little bit of a rush rush kind of week but that's okay because after this I get like a week off at home for Britt's birthday are you done man I want to go home I shouldn't say that word whenever I say that word he gets really excited <laughs> we're not going there quite yet sort of but in a roundabout way Got to go to Wisconsin first. I think we're about ready to rock and roll here. Follow this guy out of the parking lot. Lights on for safety. My tripometer has been reset. My fuel data has been reset just on my dash here so I know how good I'm doing on fuel today. It was a nice, perfect night again last night. So I was able to leave the truck off all night, not waste any fuel. Okay, I think it's going to be a good day. The weather's beautiful, to start with anyway. We've got a pretty heavy load on us for American standards. We're pretty much maxed out, just below 80,000 pounds with this lumber. And I've got a giver too. None of this, you know, going slow or saving fuel business and all we're doing as fast as this truck will allow us to or as fast as the law will allow us to, whichever one comes first. This truck is governed at uh, around about 62, 65 mile an hour anyway. So I can't even do the speed limits out west here. The speed limits out here is about 70 miles an hour or uh, 110 kilometers an hour. Meters, then turn right on Broadmoor Boulevard. So I don't have to worry about speeding, except for when I'm going downhill because this weight likes to push me really quickly down the hill if I'm not careful. Where's this guy going? Are you going into Tim Hortons? Is that? Oh, I thought this guy was going to turn right here into Tim Hortons. I've seen drivers do that before. Just go park right in their lot, block everybody in. Turn right on Broadmoor Boulevard, then turn right.
Saskatchewan now coming up to this uh, this bridge that's under construction. Anyone from around this area that's traveling through here knows exactly what I'm talking about. The bridge over there by the red barn. Actually, I don't think there's a red barn here, but you get it. You gotta say, remember two-way traffic, but they don't put cones between us here. So I don't know how many people forget and start driving in the left lane, not realizing oncoming traffic is coming. Like here, I think they should continue to put cones between the lanes here, but hey, that's just me. I'm just thinking about safety, but <laughs> oh, Saskatchewan, it's all right, I forgive you. At least paint the lines yellow so that people know it's not a one way, right? You think they'd put the, the, the dotted line in the center yellow or something? No, no, they're just gonna just put up a sign and hope that people realize that there's there's only one side of traffic here. They are fixing these bridges here though. Uh, they got these twin bridges. Off to the right, you'll see the old bridge. That was shut down before I started driving trucks through here. I don't know exactly when they shut that down, but it was, it was a while ago. But they just left it there. So you can still look at it. It's a nice bridge. I'm guessing maybe it's for pedestrians, but what kind of pedestrians would be way out here in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> I still want to walk over it one day. One day when all this construction's done and they still leave that bridge there, I'm gonna park somewhere around here. I guess I'm walked to here, just so I can say I walked across it. It's not being used for anything. And they got those cement blocks there so that cars don't go over it, but. Anyway, this day is flying past really quickly, which is good because I need to end my day as quickly as possible, early as possible today so that I can get going really early tomorrow, finish really, really early tomorrow so that I can get going extra super duper early on Friday. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll have about six hours of driving left to do on Friday, but I'm gonna start at like three in the morning. So I'm gonna arrive at my destination like at nine in the morning and then go to reload and then I have to sit around there and wait until the next day to have hours. But that's because I'm balancing my 70 hour clock right now on eight days. I'm, I'm sticking to American hours of service. So uh, I got another four and a half hours I can be on duty today. I've already done my pre-trip and I'm not going to be uh, loading anything new. So other than just doing load checks and tire checks, I don't have anything else I gotta be on duty for. So I got about four and a half hours, which is, I'm hoping is gonna get us close to Estevan, Saskatchewan, really close to the US border. I wanna cross at Portal, North Dakota. To the United States of America. <laughs> What's funny is a mile up the road here, there is a red barn, so I was right. It's the bridge that's under construction by the red barn in Saskatchewan. That's a Hummer H1. Nice. All these roads are bad. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> no wonder that guy's got a Hummer H1. You need it just to get through here with how bad the roads are. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I wonder where he gets something like that. I want a Hummer. I don't want none of this H2 sissy stuff. I want the real Hummer. That is awesome. He's just giving her too wanted a closer look at his Hummer. But we're here in, uh, what is this, Grasswood or something? Just south of Saskatoon. I need a coffee. So we're gonna pull into the SO here. I could have stopped at the Husky on the north side of town, but that would take more time out of my 70 hour clock because it takes more time to exit the highway, get all the way around into their parking lot and then get back on the highway. Whereas here it's just like right off the exit. So I could actually save a few minutes by stopping here instead. And I am very short on minutes. Each and every minute counts. Ah Woo! Turn left on road to Grasswood Road. Then turn left. Excusing me. Hey, where should I park? Where should I park? Oh, can I park up there beside this guy? Yes, I can. You say I can't. Watch me. Park right up here. Run inside. Get a coffee. Bada bing, bada boom. We'll be back on the road. Probably got about another four hours available, so we haven't gone too far since we've last checked. I'll leave this guy lots of room here. Let's immediately tell the e-log that we have stopped. Stop taking hours away from me. And look at me, look at me. 
Wearing my proud to be Canadian shirt today. Just to prove to you what I told you yesterday, that I am happy with both countries. And that I'm not gonna leave Canada to move to the US just because I love the US. They're a great country, I admire them. But at this point, I don't need to flee over there. They're, just because I love my neighbors doesn't mean I want to move into their living room, sleep on their couch right away, you know? I just love going to visit them because they got an awesome country. But I also love coming home to Canada because we also have an awesome country. They're just awesome in different ways. steel and some are cement by the looks of it. So many questions. The end of the line for us today. It's actually a really nice restaurant in here. I've eaten in here before. Really good food. Now I have a spot where I usually park. Let's go see if it's still available. It's out in the back. I don't know how I can get back there right now because uh, all these trucks have parked right in the driveway. Oh, I think there's an opening here. Aha, here we go. I always go park in the back along the grass. But don't you guys go take that spot as my spot. It's Trucker Josh's spot. If I'm here, that's where you'll find me. That way I don't have any neighbors. And it's really easy for me to walk diesel or Chevy if I have them with me. Because I'm right there. Oh, big dip here. Okay, okay. Potholes. This is a, a dirt sometimes mud lot. So just keep that in mind if you come here. Oh, no. It's really muddy back there. Oh, no. I don't want to get stuck again. Or almost stuck. Like almost got stuck the other time. And that's that. Walk the weasel. Set up the bed. We're going to sleep. Oh, it's so nice out here. A little bit muddy, but where I'm parked here, uh, no real mud. A little bit of mud over here, but we made it through that. We're right here beside the grass, so that I can walk diesel right here beside the truck. No one's going to come park beside me. It'll be a quiet night. Life is good. So thanks for tuning in today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. If you're on BitChute, you can find my regular channel, my whole channel right from the beginning on YouTube at Trucker Josh Vlogs. I have all my videos mirrored over there on BitChute as well. If you want to find me there, the channel there is just called TJV. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes here. So I'll wrap this up. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Mosquitoes. Hi everyone, my name is Matt. I'm a driver in training in Manitoba, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Ain't that right, Zoe? <laughs>